Hello everyone, uh, welcome to SugarMDs.com. We are going to talk about Dexcom versus Freestyle Liberate today. So I'm sure as a patient you have a lot of questions and I'm an endocrinologist by trade. I'm a certified diabetes educator and I see patients on Dexcom and Freestyle Liberate every day, at least 10 to 15 times a day. So I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about between Dexcom and Freestyle Liberate and you will make the best choice. All right, so let's talk about uh, a, a quick summary of what we're gonna talk about today. And you can, you can uh, you know, forward if you want to just know about a certain part, so I'm gonna break it down. So number one, we are going to talk about the accuracy between a Dexcom and Freestyle Libre. And obviously I'm talking about Dexcom G6. We're gonna talk about the alarm feature in Dexcom versus Freestyle Libre. We're going to talk about the sensor wear time, which can be important if you're, if you're doing this uh, all your life, right? And we're going to talk about the calibration, the insurance coverage, and we're going to talk about the appropriate patient selection. Now, of course, you know, physicians are prescribing this and uh, your physician may not be aware of every uh, feature unless they're an endocrinologist or diabetes specialist. So it's not gonna hurt to ask your doctor questions about the Dexcom versus Freestyle Libre or share the information you know. Okay, so let's jump into the accuracy. Now, guys, I'm gonna tell you something very, very important. When I look at the forums and see what the patients are discussing, this almost never come up to the surface. And I'm gonna tell you from a physician perspective, what is accuracy, what are you really looking at? So if you don't know what you're looking at, you're not gonna see it, right? So guys, Dexcom and Freestyle Libre, as I have discussed in my previous video, does not really measure your blood sugar. So don't try to compare your finger stick to Dexcom G6 or Freestyle Libre because they're not going to match. So one is a highway, one is a sideway. Yeah, in the city, you know, it kind of generally tells you what the traffic is, but the highway is different than a sideway, right? And there's a little delay in between. And please refer to the previous video about this. And uh, the video is about how to understand and interpret your results independently on your Dexcom G6 and Freestyle Libre. Now, what, the, what is important here is that uh, you will almost never match your finger stick with your, with your Dexcom. It is very close when your blood sugar is very stable. Uh, because when everything is stable in a, in a nice and cool weather, you expect uh, the weather to be the same here and another city in 30 minutes down the road. But if it is rainy and stormy, you may, it may be stormy here, but in half an hour somewhere else, it may be totally sunny, right? So it, it is uh, something like that. So if your sugars are rapidly changing, uh, there is gonna be a delay. But the good thing about that, uh, the Dexcom tells you, and also Freestyle Libre as well, what is going to happen in the feature with the arrow feature. We talked about the arrows, right, going up and down and, and so forth. But the most stable time you're gonna see your blood sugar uh, is going to be when you're stable. Um, so most important thing you can get out of the CGM systems is the trend data. So you understand where you're going. If your blood sugar is 100 right now, don't worry about if it is 100 or 120 or 130. It is gonna be on average, you know, 10 to 20% range of the exact finger stick blood sugar. So don't worry about these, don't get uh, uh, hung up on the exact numbers. Try to see where you're trending. So if you're 100 right now and you see two arrows down, that means that you're gonna bottom out in the next 20, 30 minutes. So take that seriously. So, so understand where your sugar is trending. Now, when it comes to real accuracy, Dexcom G6 beats Freestyle Libre, especially in the low range. In the low range, especially less than 80, 70 range, Freestyle Libre doesn't do any good. So you need to make sure that you check your blood sugar, especially if the Freestyle Libre says that you need to check your blood sugar on the screen, take that seriously because, you know, you, your blood sugar may be totally different. If you don't feel like what the, what the Dexcom G6 or Freestyle Libre is saying, let's say you feel like you're shaky, sweaty, like the hypoglycemia symptoms, uh, low blood sugar symptoms, then you should really check your finger stick. Again, these are medical devices. They help you to understand where you're at approximately. They also tell you where you're trending. However, they are not designed to be perfect in the very low range, although Dexcom G6 is definitely a much better CGM than Freestyle Libre when it comes to 
uh, alerting you for lows and, le and then matching your real low to, to your blood sugar. Like if the Dexcom G6 says your blood sugar is 60, you're gonna be anywhere from 50 to 65. So that is still low, uh, but Freestyle Libre uh, may tell you that you are 90, but you may be 50, or Freestyle Libre may tell you you are 50, but you may be 90. Uh, so as a result, I don't rely on Freestyle Libre readings in the very low ranges. So that is very important. So if you're somebody who has a lot of lows or fear of lows, then you should definitely go for Dexcom G6 if you can, and we'll talk about why you can and sometimes why you cannot. Now, let's talk about the alarm feature. The alarms are very important. So again, if you are somebody who are trying to get a tight blood sugar control, you're on insulin or you're on medications that can cause low blood sugars, then you want to avoid low blood sugar. You're a truck driver, you're working, the low blood sugars are affecting your life. Then, then you are really looking to get the alarm feature. Now the Dexcom alarm feature is very nice because even if your phone is in a silent mode, you will get an alarm. Uh, so then that alarm you cannot change because if it is 55 or below, you need to be alerted. So uh, there is also a predictive alarm uh, feature in Dexcom, which will tell you that your blood sugar will be 55 in 20 minutes from now. Uh, that is a very nice feature because you don't want to really wait until the last minute or until you have the symptoms. So, and it's, it's fairly accurate. When the Dexcom is going to tell you that your blood sugar is going to be down to 55 in 20 minutes, 85, 90% of the time, it is going to happen. So don't wait, listen to your Dexcom and do something about it. And if you have recurrent patterns of lows at certain time of the day, talk to your doctor, talk to us at SugarMDs. So we will make sure that we take care of your uh, insulin regimen or whatever you're on and make sure that you guys are all taken care of. Now, let's talk about the sensor wear time. Uh, now, I know and you know the Freestyle Libre can be worn up to 14 days and uh, Dexcom is only 10 days. On the other hand, I get a lot of compla complaints from my patients wearing Freestyle Libre saying that there is a failure of the sensors uh, way before 14 days. Sometimes it happens in the first couple days, but only 80% of Freestyle Libre sensors can go up to 14 days. And I'm talking about their own data. That's not just a patient report. So uh, the company is overall nice. So if you call them, you, you report a sensor failure. Uh, they may be able to send you another sensor and so forth. Uh, their policies may change. I'm not talking on their behalf, but it's not a bad idea to give them a call, especially if you're failing the sensor in the first couple of days. If you're paying money for it, you should be getting compensated or at least uh, get your uh, sensor replaced right away. With the Dexcom G6, that's not a common problem. It can happen. Again, these are uh, very delicate uh, instruments, uh, to, to put it that way, um, and it, they can fail. Uh, but I think companies should be able to help you if there's a very early failure and if it is not due to your fault. So, uh, the other thing, uh, guys, is very important. You're probably wondering the price, insurance coverage, and, and so forth. And that's very important. Now, again, I'm gonna reiterate that. Uh, guys, if you want to avoid low blood sugars, and if you're having low blood sugars, you should not try Freestyle Libre if you are a Dexcom G6 candidate, especially from an insurance standpoint. Here's why. I will order a Freestyle Libre because somebody comes and tells me they want Freestyle Libre and they, they, they don't want anything else. Now, when we order that for that patient and then they come back, back, they come back and say, oh, this is not accurate, I'm having a lot of lows, I wanna go to Dexcom. Now, insurance will kick back and say, your patient's already on sensor, so if you're not going to honor Dexcom, now it's a huge fight and nobody wants to get into that and the patients are, uh, at the end, is suffering. So if you are considering a CGM system, continuous glucose monitoring system, and you're experiencing a lot of lows, you're on multiple daily injections of insulin, uh, you may wanna consider Dexcom. Now, there are a lot of patients who are on insulin. They rarely ever get low blood sugars. They don't wanna hear any alarms. Uh, they don't They don't wanna pay, uh, if they're a Medicare patient especially, they don't wanna pay extra out of pocket because Dexcom definitely is more expensive. Uh, and as you know, Medicare patients will pay 20% of the cost of these devices. So as a result, um, you know, it may, 
cost them way more money than a freestyle Libre sensor. And they may say, you know what, I just want to avoid uh, finger sticks. That's all, wanna, all I want to do. Uh, and in that case, for those patients, I prescribe freestyle Libre because they're happy with it. Uh, and that's what they want. Uh, but if you are a patient who are having a lot of low blood sugars again, you're trying to avoid low blood sugars, please consider Dexcom G6. Um, now, appropriate patient selection. Again, we talked about exactly what we are, what we, how we would choose patients when it comes to uh, choosing Dexcom G6. If you are on three or more injections a day, Medicare will cover both Dexcom G6 and Freestyle Libre. Uh, and then your physician will choose the appropriate one. Again, appropriate one is not um, always Dexcom or always Freestyle. It depends on what you're looking for, uh, what, how much you can pay for, uh, what you, you know in terms of accuracy. Uh, so again, I, I'm, I'm going to summarize this. People complain way more about the accuracy of Freestyle Libre than Dexcom G6. Now, you're gonna ask, are there any other CGMs in the market? Yes, there are. The Medtronic has Guardian, uh, and uh, the uh, another totally new sensor is Eversense, uh, and they have totally different merits. Uh, for example, the, um, the uh, Medtronic Guardian goes with their uh, pump system 670G to create a closed loop system, uh, which allows automatic insulin delivery or automatic insulin slowdown or shutoff. Uh, depending on the sensor readings. However, Medtronic, uh, you cannot really make clinical decisions based on that according to FDA, and you will have to calibrate at least twice a day. Uh, so for patients who are going for Medtronic 670G pump, it makes sense to use a sensor that works with Medtronic, uh, but if that's not the case, you don't have to necessarily, I do not really favor the Medtronic Guardian System standalone CGM just because you have finger sticks and calibrations and uh, there's way more alarms associated and false alarms I would say a lot of false alarms with Medtronic Guardian System so that's why it's not my patient's favorite as a result they're not my favorite sorry for Medtronic but they're, they have great pumps but they have to work on their sensors now uh, Eversense is the newest technology. It requires an incision in the physician's office because they actually literally put the sensor surgically. And Dexcom and Freestyle Libre is a push of a button and then the sensor uh, gets um, stuck on, the, on your skin and they have a pretty strong glue and, uh, and then you're good to go. Unless you have a, a glue allergy, unless, you know, actually 10% of people cannot tolerate. There's even a Facebook group called Dexcom and Libre Rash and people keep reporting uh, their problems, uh, you know, blisters, this and that. So if you, are, if you have a very sensitive skin, uh, Dexcom and Libre may not be for you. And also, uh, the, the Eversense, that as a result, you know, it will stay under your skin, so there will be no rash associated with it. Um, also with the Dexcom and Libre, uh, once you take the sensor off, uh, it's done. It's, you cannot put it back on, you have to put a new sensor. Uh, let's say you are going to the beach and you're going to a date and you want to look cool. Uh, you don't want to look like a robot with stuff on you. I'm just kidding. Uh, but sometimes some people are like extra cautious about their appearance or uh, they care more about it or whatever. Uh, so for those people, uh, Eversense make uh, a little bit more sense. That's why maybe they call it Eversense. Um, uh, so your endocrinologist should be able to help you get that system. It's not as common. As, as a Dexcom or Freestyle Libre. Um, but at the end, uh, it, it, they have a, a transmitter uh, that stays on top of the, uh, the sensor and it's removable. The sensor stays under your skin for three months. It's three months for now. They're working on to get it for six months approval. Um, and you just charge your transmitter, but you can take it on and off. If you really don't want to, if you're, if you're into sports, you know, contact sports or stuff like that, then you can just take your Eversense system transmitter out, do your sports and come back and put it on, see where you're at. You can just resume uh, where you left off and the transmitter will pick up the data that was collected by the sensor. So the only downside I would say is really you need an incision every three months 
Uh, it's a pretty simple procedure. It's not like a surgery. It's done in the physician's office. It takes five minutes. Not a big deal. Uh, but again, it's not as popular as, as Dexcom uh, G6 or Freestyle Libre. But I think it will be popular, especially if they can prolong the life of the sensor. So having said that, guys, I hope that helps. Again, watch our other video about how to make clinical decisions based on your blood sugars, on your continuous glucose monitoring systems, and how to interpret the arrows that you see on those systems. And again, thank you very much. Uh, follow us, make sure that you subscribe and make sure you watch our videos that are informative. Uh, you can put comments and if you have any questions, again, call us at SugarMDs at 1-800-644-3963. Easy MD. Have a wonderful day.